Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm gonna to go over my December paycheck number one budget and this is for December 11th through the 24th. I went ahead and wrote down my categories just to save some time. And I am still using this Clever Fox dotted notebook. Um, it has been working really well and I have some pages left, but I'm definitely getting to the end of this one. All right, well, um, before I get started on my budget, if you're new here, I am an empty nester. Um, my children are grown, they do not live with me, so uh, the budget that I have is just for one person. I do have two fur babies. I have a kitty and a puppy, and they are spoiled rotten. So let's start with my income. I am a salary employee and I am paid bi-weekly and my bi-weekly income is $1,700. Now I've had quite a few people ask, uh, well, what about uh, health insurance? And my employer takes out health insurance before I even get my paycheck. So those are just some of my standard deductions. I have other benefits as well that come out like uh, short-term and long-term disability. I have um, like critical illness insurance. I have um, insurance that is similar to AFLAC. So if you were to get injured or um, I don't know, break a bone get cancer, they, they pay out a certain amount for each type of event. So I do have uh, life insurance, all that good stuff, and that comes out of my paycheck um, before I even get it. All right, well, instead of going over my fixed expenses and my cash expenses, let's jump all the way down to debt snowball. My um, ending debt balance as of the last paycheck is $1,337. So I know that for this paycheck that I'm going to make that debt snowball payment because that will be um, the last payment I will make on my debt and I will be debt free. I'm going to make everything else work based on my debt snowball amount. So um, again, that was $1,337. I did make an extra payment. So last paycheck I was going to pay $485. I ended up paying $555 and that left the balance of $1337. So for $1211, I will pay $1337 and that will leave me with an ending balance of zero and I will be debt free. I will make that payment on December 11th as soon as the money hits my account. So now let's take my income and subtract my debt snowball amount. Let's see how much money I have left over to work with. So let's do 1700 minus 1337. So that leaves me with $363. Now my rent is due on the 1st of January and I will get paid again on Christmas Day. So I know that I can take $900 out of that paycheck to pay my rent with. So I'm actually not going to budget anything for rent this time. So that will give me, of course, fixed expenses of zero. Um, I do rent a basement apartment, so um, I don't have uh, any utilities that I pay and all of my other subscriptions, those are all due on the first of the month. So that's why I don't have any other expenses for this check. All right, so let's figure out what I'm going to do with $363. I still have more than half a tank of gas, so I know I don't need any gas for my car and I don't plan on going anywhere other than just to and to and from the grocery store. So that will be plenty for me. Um, my normal grocery budget is $60. So let's, and that's per week. Um, so let's go ahead and budget $60 per week. There's two weeks in this paycheck. So that will be 120. 
My normal fur baby budget is $50 a week. Um, well, before I get to fur baby, so groceries, if you're new here, includes household toiletries. It includes makeup because I do buy my makeup just from the grocery store. Um, what else? Um, I guess that's it. Uh, household toiletries, beauty, and all of my groceries. Um, I basically get everything at Walmart, and so this is pretty much a Walmart budget. So that's one twenty. Moving on to fur babies, my normal budget for fur babies is twenty five per week, and that would be a hundred dollars. I'm sorry, twenty five per week. So that would be fifty dollars for this paycheck, and I'm pretty sure that I. I don't need any, I'm pretty sure that $25 per week is going to be plenty for the fur babies this time. So let's budget $25 per week, which is going to be 50 for this paycheck. So that gives me total cash expenses of $170. So let's subtract 170. So that leaves me 193. I'm following the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I've already completed baby step number one, which is to save $1,000. I've completed now baby step number two, which is to pay all of my debt. Baby step number three is to save three to six months worth of expenses as, and then that would be your fully funded emergency fund. So if we look at, let's take my December budget here. So three to six months is going to be my fixed expenses and my cash expenses. So that would be 1,000, actually the gym I'm not paying anymore. So let's say 1,005 minus 32 is $973 for fixed expenses and 360 for cash expenses is so my monthly expenses is $1,333. So if we multiply that by three, that is pretty much $4,000. That's about as close as you can get. <laughs> so my goal is to save $4,000 for my emergency fund to be fully funded. At a later date, I might extend that to maybe six months or longer, but for for now, I'm going to uh, work on three months. For December paycheck number one, I do want to start introducing some um, sinking fund categories, and I think I want to do that this paycheck. So let me just do this again. So 1700 minus 170, minus 1337 is 193. So let's start with, um, all right, let me write down sinking funds. And let's start with Christmas. Now I went ahead and did a Christmas budget for next year. So I already know that my Christmas budget for 2021 is $1,200. So $1,200 divided by 26 paychecks is roughly $46. So I'm going to go ahead and put aside $50 for Christmas. Then I am going to add back fur babies. And this is going to be for their yearly shots. And I'm going to go ahead and set aside, let's see, so for Tink and for Chewy, I think their shots were right around 350 so that would be roughly $15 per paycheck let's round that up to 20 
All right, so that is 193 minus 70. So I still have $123. All right, so I do want to add um, a category for gifts, which would be Mother's Day, Father's Day, and birthdays. So for Mother's Day, Father's Day, and birthdays, I have budgeted for 2021 a total of $620, which is $25 per paycheck. So let me... So we'll do 25 for gifts. So that leaves $98. And we'll go ahead and put the remaining $98 into savings for to go towards my emergency fund. And that may not be much, but I do want to start my sinking funds again um, sooner rather than later. So we're just going to start at this check and we'll start um, incorporating that and saving for my emergency fund going forward. All right, so that is it. That is everything for December paycheck number one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.